What's up guys, my name is Dean, aka the Blue Crusader, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the top 100 Minecraft mods of all time. 100 groundbreaking mods that changed the game and are highly memorable and nostalgic or innovating. This video will be broken down into a series of 10 parts, each in a top 10 style format with 10 mods, with this one being part 2. Let's begin. Biomes are plenty. This expansive biome mod is the most popular mod adding brand new biomes to Minecraft and for good reason. It adds a large extensive collection of new and unique biomes with support for both the overworld and the nether in Minecraft, all equipped with some new plants, flowers, trees and flora, and some building blocks. Biomes o Plenty has some beautiful new biomes, from the cherry blossom groves to the lavender fields and the pumpkin patch forests. There's over 90 different biomes to explore that generate in the world with this mod, coming with its own generator profile for the world generator option when creating a brand new world. My favourite biome, one that was much needed before the 1.18 Caves and Cliffs update, is the Alps biome, adding giant large snowy peaks and mountains to the world, or Crag, which adds split peaks with gravel and patches of grass scattered throughout. This mod definitely is an enhancement which is a must have for a more realistic world. Clay Soldiers mod The Clay Soldiers mod adds items in game which are held by the player. Clay Soldiers that are crafted using soul sand and clay blocks which can be sneak right click or right click to place full stacks down. These clay soldiers spread out and scatter, roaming the landscape. Each type of soldier functions differently, with soldiers having a slower walk speed and lower jump height but can climb up four blocks, although they are also quite weak. You can craft different colour teams for clay soldiers which are based off of the original 16 die colours, meaning different teams will fight each other as they are theoretically on opposing sides. The cool thing about this old school mod is that the clay soldiers can also saddle up and ride a variety of mounts and hold different upgrades and equipment or arms to go into battle with. Mutant Creatures If normal standard Minecraft monsters at night weren't spooky enough, then these giant monstrosities will definitely be buff enough. This legendary mod adds different creatures creatures to the game, more specifically mutant versions of many of the vanilla mobs that bring a greater challenge when fighting the player, being far tougher but also coming with better drops as rewards. Each new mutant creature has new abilities and physical traits, and they have more powerful attacks than their weaker vanilla counterparts. Using the chemical X potion, you can throw it to kill or cause a mutation in a vanilla mob to buff it up into the new stronger version. There's mutant creepers that pack more of a punch in their explosions and have more appendages. Mutant skeletons that can jump in midair and do trick shots and looking far more sinister with their large jaws. Mutant snowmen that throw giant blocks of ice and litter the floor below them with snow. Mutant endermen that run far faster and can summon other enderman visages. And the huge mutant zombie that hits like a truck and can jump super high in the sky and smash down upon you. There are also some fun smaller mobs in here too like the spider pig which is a reference to the Simpsons movie. Mr. Crayfish's Furniture Mod. The Mr. Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod was a pretty huge mod of its time. There are a few other furniture mods and some that came before it, but in terms of quality, I think this is the best. This mod brings over 40 different new and unique furniture pieces, which can be used for interior design and decoration for living rooms, bedrooms and bathrooms, or gardens. And it's a great fix for furniture being missing in Minecraft, as the game has always been great for building, but slightly lacklustre for decorating. With everything from chairs, tables, cabinets, curtains, new foods, and more, this mod is really useful for modern style builds. The thing I like though about this mod is that many of the blocks are interactable or have a purpose. For an example, the shower head turns on and creates particles and sounds, the toaster can be used, the fridge and certain tables can have items stored within them, and the oven actually cooks foods and is useful, meaning not only does this mod have high quality modelled blocks, but they also serve a functional purpose too. With thousands of hours of time put in across a 4-5 to five month period, in development from a collaboration effort, the Aether is an amazing dimension mod that adds a brand new dimension high up in the sky, being basically the opposite of the hell world the nether, being a heaven like world that consists of floating islands and structures. With a portal frame made of glowstone and illuminated by poured water, you can reach the Aether, a vibrant world full of both neutral and hostile mobs, with a lot to do. The world has many different mysterious dungeon structures in the style of Greek architecture, many that can be explored 
reward in order to find loot within. There's the bronze, silver and gold dungeon, from best to worst in terms of their loot and rarity and also their difficulty level. Of course, each of these three dungeon houses an endpoint boss that's difficult to defeat and has nice drops for the player. The Aether is an absolute legendary mod, one that so many people know, especially people who haven't even tried mods before for the game. The Dalek mod. For fans of Dot 2, the Dalek mod is a large scale mod aiming to bring much of the content from the BBC franchise into Minecraft, letting you travel through the world in a fully functional TARDIS time machine, which you can use to explore many different planets in the solar system and come against many tough foes like the Cybermen and the Daleks themselves. You can use sonic screwdrivers in this mod and find new ores in space, as well as also make your very own TARDIS. The TARDIS has many different alternative outside disguises and colours that can be customised, and it works when fueled with fluid link levels which must be maintained and operated by the controls within the console room. There's also boss mobs like the Cyber Controller and Dalek Emperor which are super tough large scale mobs that look amazing. The pure effort in the 3D design and programming in this mod is really impressive. I particularly like the Sonic Screwdriver's abilities, which let you perform multiple functions such as activating doors and lights, activating TNT blocks, tilling farmland and using dispensers for an example. Oz Magica 2 this mod is all about casting powerful spells to fight tough bosses and have fun with an all-new magical system which is built upon a spell creation set of mechanics which lets you create any custom spell that you can imagine. Using a pool of liquid ethereum and an item frame closely with a book, you will receive a guidebook called the Arcane Compendium that describes all items, structures, bosses and features which are important to the mod. The cost and power of created spells are based upon the player's current casting mode. There are also some magical styles are mobs added to the world. Some are elemental guardians which are bosses, dark mages and elemental hostile mobs as well as some peaceful magical mobs like mages and dryads. The mod works with an experience system through magical levels which are used for the leveling up process to gain more skill points to discover new spells. Experience is granted each time one of these spells is successfully casted. Herobrine mod. Everyone remembers the Herobrine mod, perhaps the best horror mod for Minecraft, based entirely off of the creepypasta character and its story of the same name, one of Minecraft's greatest legends and mysteries. The Herobrine mod lets you place a totem multi-block structure which is comprised of gold blocks, a totem block and a lit piece of netherrack, which when lit causes the face's eyes to turn from white to red on the totem piece in order to signify the ritual's completion. This mod lets you summon Herobrine and all of the deadly events and occurrences that come along with his torment into your world. Sometimes Herobrine will rarely spawn and attack you or build strange structures like placing down small pyramids and altars, summoning white-eyed evil mobs like chickens and cows or even armies of zombies. He will also grief houses or set the player on fire with lava for an example. This is an amazing mod that I personally love to prank my friends with way back in the day. More creeps and weirdos. This old school mod is a really fun and nostalgic one, a mod that definitely doesn't take itself too seriously. More Creeps and Weirdos is a mod that adds exactly the type of new mobs that you'd expect from its title. The mod adds multiple different mobs, items and achievements. There are some passive mobs and some aggressive ones, but you can be sure that each and every one is pretty strange in their own right. There's everything from innocent looking old grannies to sinister giant big baby bosses that are angry, evil mummies, giant radioactive active swimsuit zombies, huge robots, the lawyers from hell, hunchbacks and much more weird and wonderful ones. This mod is kind of crazy and if you want to survive or play a semi normal survival experience I probably wouldn't recommend this one. Lord of the Rings mod. This huge expansion mod introduces the world of Middle Earth from the books of J.R.R. Tolkien into Minecraft. This mod brings content from the Lord of the Rings franchise and the Hobbit into the game and it's a really spectacular mod. Everything in the mod can be accessed by reaching the Middle Earth dimension, which is seen by talking to Gandalf and entering the Golden Ring portal. The new world features over 100 new biomes, which include their sub-biomes and biome variants, which have brand new structures and resources rich within. There are different dungeons to tackle, some which function as their own dimension. The world is full of the different Middle Earth races, everything from elves to orcs, humans, hobbits and dwarfs. Your actions will improve or harm your reputation with factions in this mod, which is based on its alignment 
diamond system. You can also trade with many townspeople or hire them as your own units or mercenaries to help fight for you. And there's a lot of randomly generated mini quests along the way which makes things a little bit more eventful. And that concludes part 2 of the top 100 Minecraft mods of all time. If you enjoyed the video like it and make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on part 3 and so you can be part of the channel before we hit 100k subscribers. Comment below your favourite of the 10 mods featured in part 2 and why that is and also comment your favourite Minecraft mods of all time too which may have not been in this episode. If you want to see part 1 it will be linked in the description down below. Thanks for watching. YouTube says 97% of you are not subscribed so if you enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications and slap the like button for more Minecraft mod videos like this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.